want you to all stand up. We will begin by raising our hands, honoring the world. by reading the word from Leviticus. It will be on your screen. I want you to read it together. Leviticus chapter 18, verse 2 to 5. Give the following instructions to the people of Israel. I am the Lord your God. So do not act like the people in Egypt where you used to live or like the people of Canaan where I am taken. You must not imitate their way of life. You must obey my regulations and be careful to obey my decrees. For I am the Lord your God. If you obey my decrees and my regulations, you will find life through me. I am the Lord. I'd like us to just dwell on that line for a while. You will find life through me. Can you say that again? Can, but I want it in the first person perspective. Can you say this? I will find life. I will find life. Through it. I love what Brother Bo said that rules and laws are actually designed by God. Not to limit you, but to actually allow you to live a full life. But many years back, I don't agree with that, especially when I was a teenager. I felt that the rules and the laws of my parents were a bummer. But now that as I'm maturing my faith and now that I'm also am a father, I realize rules and laws are important, especially if you have children and if you love your children. Because there are things that in your maturity and in your capacity, there are things that you will perceive that they cannot yet. Do you agree? Yeah. And I believe that with God, in His maturity, in His infinite wisdom, He has things that He can perceive already that you cannot yet perceive. That's why He is establishing a framework for you to operate so that you can live a full life. Do you agree? Yes. And just a short background about this verse. <laughs> The verse mentioned about the Egyptians, the neighbors in the past, and the future neighbors, the Canaanites. God was saying, do not live like them. Because you know what? The prevailing norm back then for the Egyptians and the Canaanites, Canaanites were pagan rituals. And those pagan rituals included and involved sexual acts. We will talk more about that later. So that's why God is telling them, my children in this world where this is the norm, you see it on TV, you watch it everywhere, you see people doing it, then it must be justification enough for you to say that they're doing it, they think it's good, then it probably must be good, but God is telling you otherwise. My laws are here so that I can ensure that you will have a full life. Amen. Amen. Can you put your hands on your hearts? I want you to pray with you. Almighty Father, Open my heart to receive your laws with openness and trust. May they change my life for the better. This I ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's raise our hands to the word of God. Praise Him. Praise Him. You may take your seats. And as you are 